Welcome to DX Adogu training video number 81. In this video, hidden quads and naked quintets will be discussed. As a prerequisite for this video, watch DX Adoku video number 54 titled Hidden Triple with Wrapping. Consider the following Sudoku in progress. We are currently searching for subsets in the puzzle. At this point in the search, we are looking at the house making up column 4 and we are looking for a naked subset having two cells. A naked subset having two cells is also known as a naked pair. We begin by choosing cell 1, 4 as the first cell in the set. Cell 1, 4 has two candidates, 4 and 8, which we will use as the current candidate set. We can't add cell 2, 4 to the set because it has more than two possible candidates. Cell 3, 4 has a 5 as a given, so this cell cannot be added to the set. When we get to cell 4, 4, we find a compatible cell for completing our naked subset having two cells. We have found a naked pair. The kill zone is now highlighted in red, and the target candidates to kill are highlighted in a darker red. Notice how the house making up column 4 is composed of six open cells. An open cell is a cell not set to a given or a value. Two of the cells are being used as part of the naked pair. Examine the other four open cells in more detail. Notice how the four cells contain a set of four candidates besides the target candidates to kill. The four cells now outlined have only four candidates, one, two, three, and nine, in addition to the target candidates. What this means is we have a naked pair wrapping a hidden quadruple. The naked pair is now highlighted in green, and the naked quadruple is highlighted in purple. When two puzzle solving techniques are said to wrap each other, it means both puzzle solving techniques share the same kill zone and target candidates to kill. Whenever we have a house composed of six open cells, it's always easier to look for a naked pair before looking for a hidden quadruple. We remove the non-possible candidates from the puzzle. Notice after we remove the non-possible candidates, we are left with a naked quad and a naked pair. This time we are going to focus on a house having seven open cells. Consider the following Sudoku in progress. Focus on the house making up row three. We are looking for a naked triple. We begin our search with having cell three comma two as the first cell in our set. Cell three comma two has three candidates, four, six, and seven, which are marked down in our notes. Next, we add cell 3, 3 as our second cell in the set of three cells. Cell 3, 3 has two possible candidates, 6 and 7, so it qualifies to be part of our current triple search. Next, we add cell 3, 4 as our third cell in our set of three cells. Cell 3, 4 has 4, 6, and 7 as possible candidates. These three candidates match the current set we are looking for. We have found a naked triple in the house making up row 3. Here is the naked triple with its kill zone and target candidates highlighted in red. Just as before in the previous example, the four remaining open cells form a hidden quad now highlighted in purple. In this example, we have a naked triple wrapping a hidden quad. The hidden quad is composed of four cells, each having two to four candidates, from a candidate set of 1, 3, 8, and 9. When you have 7 open cells, look for a naked triple hidden quad combination. We remove the non-possible candidates from the puzzle. This time we focus on the house making up row 5, which has 8 open cells. We find a naked quad wrapping a hidden quad as shown. The naked quad is highlighted in green, and the hidden quad is highlighted in purple. When you have eight open cells, look for a naked quad wrapping a hidden quad. We remove the non-possible candidates from the puzzle. This time we focus on the house making up block eight, which also has eight open cells as in the previous example. The naked quintet is highlighted in green and the hidden triple is highlighted in purple. Searching for naked quintets is about as hard as searching for hidden triples. I prefer searching for naked quintets over searching for hidden triples, and will do so with houses having eight open cells. We remove the non-possible candidates from the puzzle. 
Next, we look at the house making up column 5, having 9 open cells. We find a naked quad wrapping a hidden quintet as shown. The naked quad is highlighted in green and the hidden quintet is highlighted in purple. When you have 9 open cells, look for a naked quad wrapping a hidden quintet. We remove the non-possible candidates from the puzzle. Here is the last example. Look at the house making up row 3, which has 9 open cells, same as in the previous example. This time we find a naked quintet wrapping a hidden quad as shown. The naked quintet is highlighted in green and the hidden quad is highlighted in purple. I think searching for naked quintets is still easier than searching for hidden quads. So when you have 9 open cells, look for a naked quintet wrapping a hidden quad. We remove the non-possible candidates from the puzzle. Here are the general subset searching guidelines. For all 27 houses, always look for naked singles and hidden singles first. Then look for naked pairs and hidden pairs, followed by looking for naked triples. Generally do not look for hidden triples. Do not look for quads or quintets in houses having less than 8 open cells. For houses having 8 open cells, look for two types of subsets. First, look for a naked quad and hidden quad combination. And second, look for a naked quintet and a hidden triple combination. For houses having 9 open cells, there are two types of subsets to look for. First, look for a naked quad and hidden quintet combination. And second, look for a naked quintet and hidden quad combination. The other quad and quintet combinations will get flushed out by first looking for singles, pairs, and triples. This completes the Exodoku training video number 81. Please support my efforts by purchasing my book on Amazon. Thank you for buying and thank you for watching.